everyone. My name is Cammie Withers. I am from the Kimberly Sixth Ward. Um, my family had recently moved into the ward right before I left, so I still haven't had the opportunity to get to know many in this stake and ward, but um, I am grateful for this opportunity to share my testimony today. Um, I was in the Mexico Medida mission before I came back home. Um, I was there for a little over five months and for those of you who are curious, Merida is about three and a half hours west of Cancun. So it is very hot, very humid, but very pretty. And I got to sleep in a hammock for five months, so that was pretty cool. Um, although I was only there for a short time, I was able to experience some of the most beneficial moments of my life. I say beneficial because they weren't very easy, but I learned more about my Savior and myself. and there than in any other situation. Today I would just like to testify a little bit of who the Savior is for me to and what I know about Him. Um, first of all, I would just like to say that I know that Jesus Christ is our Savior and Redeemer, that He lived on this earth for a short period of time, that He suffered for our sins and our pains and afflictions, and that He died but that three days later he, res he was resurrected and that through him we can receive this eternal life and joy in this life. Um, something that I learned on my mission that I can testify of is that I know that Jesus Christ knows how we feel in every situation. In Alma chapter 7 it reads, And he shall go forth suffering pains and afflictions and temptations of every kind. He will take upon him death, that he may lo loose the bands of death. He will take upon him their infirmities, that he may know how to succor his people. I know that Christ suffered all of these things and more to know how to comfort us in our times of need. Um, I remember at the beginning of my mission, I was feeling pretty homesick, and I wasn't sure if I <laughs> would be able to do it, essentially. Um, but I remember one day when I was doing my studies that the thought came into my mind that Jesus Christ left his heavenly home for 33 years to complete the most important mission in the history in history and um, he had to leave his comforts of home to do something hard and uncomfortable and that gave me comfort knowing that the year and a half that I dedicate to serving is that during that time I will never be alone because of what he went through. I also remember that um, in my third month I was struggling to open my mouth because I had fear of being rejected and I also had fear of not saying things perfectly or being perfect. But I remember my mission president told me in an interview that Jesus Christ being a perfect man was still rejected by people he was denied by his apostles, Judah and Peter. He was betrayed by Judah especially, and was crucified by the very people he came to save. He knows exactly what it feels like when people reject our message, and he knows how I felt when people rejected us. And he also knows what it feels like to not fit in. In these moments, he can gently remind us that we are never alone. In our moments of suffering. Um, I know he is always there for us and that he is there ready to run to our aid. I know he knows how we feel and I know he can be with us always. The second thing I'd like to testify of is that I know that Christ offers hope and comfort even amidst trials. In James 1, 2 through 3, it says, Count it all joy when ye shall fall into many afflictions, knowing there, this, that the trying of your faith worth it, worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And in Hebrews chapter 11 it says, God, having provided some better things for them through their sufferings, for without sufferings they could not be made perfect. I read these scriptures a lot in my first transfer. Um, one, because it, it was hard. I was getting accustomed to the 100 degree weather. I had a trainer that didn't speak English. My Spanish was very choppy and I didn't understand anybody. But 
Even with all these difficulties, I found comfort knowing that these things were for my growth. I found comfort knowing that Christ trusted me with these difficulties, and I took comfort that during these trials, um, I was being refined, that our trials are meant to refine us. I know that through Christ, we can overcome our trials, and we can continue forward with the hope of being, um, being made better and more like Christ after it all passes. And the last thing I would just like to testify of is that I know that Christ forgives us and he offers eternal life with him and the Heavenly Father. I know that we can repent and be changed through our faith and the use of the atonement. Just like Alma, Enos, and many others in the scriptures, we can have that peace of mind uh, that we have been forgiven. It may not be like the, the grand experiences that they had, but like Ezra, President Ezra Taft Benson once said, that it is more subtle, but we can know that we are living God-like lives, and little by little we are being changed to, to be more like Christ. I also know that through Christ, we will all one day be resurrected to be judged, that we will overcome death as Christ has. And to finish this video, I would just like to share my testimony in a little bit of Spanish that I learned. Sé que este evangelio es el evangelio de Jesucristo y que él sufrió y murió, murió por cada uno de nosotros y que mediante él podemos tener la felicidad y gozo en esta vida y en la vida después. Y sé que todas estas cosas y digo en el nombre de Jesucristo. Amén.